The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. The king of late-night television is going back to wow. work. Wow. The woman who once called herself a boy toy is hoping that after tonight, everybody else calls her a Broadway star. Lisa Gibbons has a special cover story report. Her name is Madonna, but just who is that girl? In four and a half years, her image has gone from the brassy newcomer who made underwear fashionable to a glamorous hybrid of Marilyn Monroe and Jean Harlow. I guess this is what they mean by making a spectacle of yourself. To her latest look of sophistication unveiled in this month's Harper's Bazaar. But while the look may change, the true essence of Madonna remains. It's a combination of talent and drive that was evidenced as far back as 1984 when we first interviewed her after her first hit, Holiday. I'm out to do something and I'm going to do what I have to get there. And I think I have a lot of confidence in myself, so I think that's part of it. Her follow-up album, Like a Virgin, sold 7 million copies worldwide and proved her success wasn't a fluke. The hits continued, and this material girl seemed to be under a lucky star that transferred into big box office at concert arenas. And eventually a career on the big screen. Susan! What are you doing here? I got good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? You said you were going to leave. Okay, good news first. Your wife isn't partners with the grease ball. Desperately Seeking Susan brought critical acclaim to the pop star, and while she followed it up with two box office bombs, Shanghai Surprise with husband Sean Penn, and Who's That Girl, she had established herself as a legitimate actress. If you think conquering the concert stage, the music charts, and the silver screen would be enough, not for Madonna, not while there is still this, Broadway. Madonna is now hitting the Broadway stage in Speed the Plow by Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright David Mamet. In an unglamorous secondary role opposite Tony winner Joe Montagna and Ron Silver, Madonna rehearsed for six weeks to prove to herself and to the critics that she is a serious actress. I'm frightened. I know that you are. I would have come here anyway. Is that depraved? I know what it is to be bad. I've been bad. The play has become the hot ticket on Broadway, drawing fans and celebrities to the four weeks of previews. She really challenged herself, and I think she should be proud. More stars and excitement are expected tonight at the play's premiere. And with her performance, this 29-year-old superstar hopes to add one more accolade to an already long list of career achievements. Lisa Gibbons, Entertainment Tonight. And tomorrow on Entertainment Tonight, you'll have one of the best seats in the house for Madonna's premiere. We'll wrap up all the action. The movie-making system called Speed the Plow was on the bill. But as Lisa Gibbons reports, Madonna was the main attraction. It was definitely the hot ticket to have. The play with the Madonna factor. And the crowd at the premiere was well aware of the hype. This is not just another opening night on Broadway. This is the night the princess of pop culture takes to the legitimate stage. And most of the first-nighters agree it is one of the riskiest moves Madonna has ever made. She's a dynamic performer in uh, concerts, so why shouldn't she be good here, right? You think this has taken a chance for her? Yeah, I think that's great. Good luck to her. Most actresses, their dream is to be on Broadway, and she belongs here. I know that you're frightened. Madonna has an unglamorous secondary role as an ambitious secretary to a Hollywood executive played by Joe Mantegna. To even ask and say in jest, yes, I prayed to be pure. After the final bows were taken, the cast moved to a private party where Madonna summed up her post-play emotions. Felt like really good sex. <laughs> it's great writing. And I have two great actors to work with. Aww. I really mean it, you guys. People should really begin to start looking at her as an actress, as a serious actress, you know, and I think that's probably what she would like. Do you feel a lot of pressure from the critical community? I always feel that pressure. That was everything I do, so I just want to be good, that's all.
No doubt about it, Madonna was in a good mood tonight, and the material girl is living up to her name, turning a profit on Broadway. The show already has almost a million dollars in advance ticket sales. In New York, I'm Lisa Gibbons, Entertainment Tonight. Well, the critics seem to sharpen up their poison pencils with generally scathing reviews of Madonna's performance. The headline in the Daily News said, No, she can't act. WCBS-TV called her ineptitude scandalously thorough, but Newsday said Madonna was okay, sort of. The New York Times was in the definite minority, calling her debut an example of intelligent, disciplined comic acting. Most agree... Not a trouble.